Hey, how's it going? So, Kent Rollins, Smoking and Grill with AB, and Meat Church are three of my favorite YouTube channels. So when I wanted to make chili, I thought, how about I make all three of their chilies and give them each a little taste test. Stick around to the end of this video and I'll let you know which one I thought was best. Cheers. Cowboy Kent Rollins is our first chili. Start off with a little steak that I did the other night on the griddle. Um, this one didn't call for steak. I just had it so I wanted to put it in there. There's some ground beef I also did on my griddle when it's food prepping. Normally you'd cook your beef when you do the chili, but I had this all done ahead of time. Uh, steak's pretty rare, but we're going to cook it more and more until it falls apart. In goes some white onions, a whole white onion chopped. Always a good idea. Add some onions to chili. And check on my sous chef, who is not helping. He's just eating yogurt. It's just hard to find good help nowadays. All I did is eat the whole time. He didn't even chop any of the vegetables for me. Anyways, stir that up. Here comes the chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. These were very good, very flavorful, and added quite a bit of heat, to be honest with you. Probably because I didn't get rid of the seeds that were inside, as you see there. But, you know, Cowboy didn't get rid of the seeds, so I'm not getting rid of the seeds. This is his recipe. Put them in there. You gotta toughen up. It's Cowboy Chili, you know. Turned out real good. Here comes some Rotel. That just seems like a Cowboy brand. I don't know if that's made in Texas, but two diced tomatoes with Rotel, from Rotel. Then some water. Um... Not a big fan of adding water. I mean, it doesn't really bring much flavor. It feels like we're just literally adding liquid. But, you know, who am I to say anything? Kent has, like, way more subscribers than I ever will, and he's a great cook. Kidney beans, Kroger brand, because they're on sale. It's how I live my life. Garlic, cumin, salt, oregano, and obviously chili powder. I'll have a link to his exact recipe in the description. This was a nice little seasoning combo. Added a lot of flavor. Mix it all up and I'm looking at it like, hey, this doesn't look right. It's almost like a forgotten ingredient because I did forget an ingredient. Tomato sauce. It's not easy to watch a kid make a chili and film at the same time. Who am I kidding? He watched himself. But yeah, added the tomato sauce, simmered it on the stove for a while. Oh, I also make cornbread. Forgot to tell you that. And a 12 inch cast iron skillet. Want to really keep with the cowboy theme. You know, like we're home on the range rather than home in our condo in Columbus, Ohio. But I just want my son to feel like he's a cowboy for a day. That turned out well. Sour cream, green onions on top. This was delicious. Highly recommend it. A lot of heat, a lot of flavor. Next up is smoking and grilling with AB. I ain't gonna over talk it. Let's just go ahead and get cooking this chili. That's my AB impersonation. I apologize. It was terrible, but I love his channel. I absolutely love his channel. Um, oil going in there garlic into the oil i like this this brings out the flavor of the garlic by just getting in the oil heating it up a little bit of red onion i also like red onion better than white onion so so far pretty big fan of ab's chili still like kent's as well there goes the ground beef in there i'm gonna cook that up with the garlic and the onion started off with the rubber spoon which clearly was doing terrible then i got my mom meat masher that's what i call that it's the uh meat mash all the crock pot ladies have on youtube my mom saw them and bought it for me, so that's what I name it now. Just got to keep up with the Joneses, make sure I'm like all the other housewives. Chili powder, cumin coming in there, a little bit of cayenne. This brought some heat to it. Chicken broth instead of water. I like that. Chicken broth has more flavor than water. Maybe just salt flavor. Diced tomatoes, get in there. Then kidney beans, again, shout out to the Kroger brand. Bushes, black beans, what? Wow, I got a name brand. I'm very proud of myself for getting these Bush's black beans. I really am. Tomato paste, which we all know is really just toothpaste for Italian people. Adds a lot of thickness to this chili. And it really gave it a nice body that I enjoyed. Salt. How much salt? I don't know. I just sprinkled it in there. Again, his exact recipe will be in the description. I kind of just freestyled that salt with some pepper. Added more at the end. Salt and pepper to taste. Brown sugar. Not a ton of brown sugar. About a tablespoon. But I really think it was just enough. It wasn't by any means like sweet, sweet, but you could definitely taste a hint of it on the end. So I enjoyed that. Definitely enjoyed the brown sugar. Uh, gave it all a mix and this one was delicious. Topped it with some cheese. And then I also topped it with some Fritos. Like we're doing walking tacos. We're back in like fifth grade or something. Delicious chili. Definitely give this one a try as well. Uh, meat Church. 
two beers, one for him, one for the chili. You can see why I like his channel. Matt makes delicious, delicious food, and he has great seasonings as well. He's doing red onions again is what we started off with here. Then we put the uh, chipotles with adobo directly in the onions. Uh, there's the sauce, and then magically, because I forgot to film it, boom, there is the diced up peppers. You can see those right there. And this really got a lot of the flavor out, I thought. Garlic as well, again, just like I did with AB, just kind of, you know, go ahead and saute the onions and everything together. Then we have a little chuck steak, a real cheap chuck steak that I just kind of got some color on in my Dutch oven. Ooh, good color there. And then uh, I cooked everything back in that same Dutch oven. He smoked his chuck steak. I didn't do that because everybody doesn't have a smoker. Uh, sausage, Jamie Dean's hot, ground beef, one pound of a five pound log. Take a look at this steak. Yeah, it's got a nice color on it. So we'll pull it out. Then we're gonna put our onions, adobo, garlic, Right in there, you're not cleaning the pan. There's just like the fond or the little bits of the steak are down there. We're gonna cook everything right into that. So get it all in there. It's That cast iron pan's heavy. I'm not bragging, I'm just saying it's hard to hold that thing up. There goes a pound of beef and our hot Jimmy Dean sausage. Three different meats, two of them are beef, but I really think that made this one a very nice chili with different textures. Uh, if you do get a cheap steak like me, cut out all this disgusting fat. You don't want that floating around your chili. You don't want somebody taking a spoonful of grizzle. That's kind of nasty. So uh, take a little time to cut out the fat and get rid of that. Again, he put his on like a Traeger, but we're not doing that with the beef because I don't. I want to make this like you can at home. Everyone's got one. Everybody knew the pot. Crushed tomatoes. No dice. Crush right now. Just two cans of crush. So that was different than the other two. Then there's the diced ones. But, you know, everybody's got different tomatoes. I used his seasoning. That's what he uses. Um, it was very good. I used, it's per pound of meat is one tablespoon. It had a nice kick to it. Wasn't too spicy, but you can dial it back if you want. And you only need one seasoning. Put in a can of Bud Light. He used Mellow Light. I used Bud Light. Doesn't really matter. Wasn't going to use a good beer because I want to drink those. So I just used a light beer. Nothing wrong with Bud Light. I drink those a lot too. Got our beef and our sausage here. We gotta make sure none of that fat gets in there or else it's gonna rise at the top and make a nasty chili. So I took the slotted spoon and tried to get all the grease off. And there's no beans in this. It's a Texas chili, no beans. They are very, very opinionated about their chili and apparently they hate beans down there in Texas. So no beans, put the lids on there, simmered it for a while. Now, I did take this one to work and throw it in the smoker to reheat. But, you know, not everybody has that option. I just wanted to say that I did that because it did turn out really well by reheating a smoker. So do that if you got it. But it was a great chili. I definitely recommend giving this one a try. Well, folks, it was a tough decision. But I think when it came down to it, due to the ease of using the pre-made spice mix and the large chunks of meat, I think my favorite one, and I'll probably add beans next time, but my favorite one was Meat Church. That's the winner. Sorry, hope it's not too controversial. Uh, give it a try if you want to try some other wild stuff that I've done on the griddle. Watch the video on your screen now. Cheers.